In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 best fragrances for women for summer. This is my niche edition, fragrances that I've been wearing all summer, so if you wanna hear what they are, make sure you keep watching. Tip Benson here, welcome back to my channel. I hope everything is going super smooth with you. I hope you are maintaining and are still alive in this hot weather. I am barely surviving. So this is a list that you've been waiting for. I am so happy to share it with you today. If you follow me at tiffbenson.com, I posted this list weeks ago. So if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you subscribe to my newsletter. I will leave a link in the description. There I share my exclusive content, behind the scenes, giveaways, and news like this. Also too, if you were following me on Instagram, then you know that I just recently posted a Insta highlight called Poifem. For my ladies, it's literally the top 10 that I'm gonna mention everything in this list. And I posted it weeks ago. So do make sure that you follow me on Instagram. And as a matter of fact, take a snapshot, share it in your Insta stories, let me know that you're watching, tag me, and I will make sure that I share it in my own Insta feed, you know? Leave a comment right now and let me know what fragrances you've been wearing this summer. Your girl is super curious and I love to read the comments and see what you are wearing. Also, leave a comment because I've been thinking about this a lot lately. There are a lot more men that watch this channel than women. Um, so I'd love if you could leave me some healthy feedback, suggestions, or just share this video with a friend, with a female friend that you know loves fragrance. I know they're out there. Okay, let's jump right in to the video. First fragrance that I'm going to share with you is Ormond Jane's Privé. I love this fragrance. This fragrance is so, mm, so gorgeous. When I think of this fragrance, it reminds me of blotting sheets, oddly enough. Blotting sheets that you would use to pat your makeup so that you're not like a greasy, oily, sweat stain. It has beautiful notes of rice powder, balsamati, right? So balsamati is a rice. Neroli, mandarin, clary sage, gardenia. Also has musk, sandalwood, and tonka in the base. This is a beautiful scent. It is so, 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 so good. It's classy and professional and a gorgeous scent that you could wear from the summer right into the fall. Coming up next is a fragrance that for me was love at first sniff. It is Victor and Rolf's Liquid Diamonds. How could you not fall in love with a name like Liquid Diamonds? Whatever it is, give it to me. I'll take it. This reminds me of luxurious fabric softener. Has gorgeous notes of pink pepper, peony, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, ylang ylang, musk, and patchouli in the base notes. I recommend wearing this for daytime. Definitely a summer spring scent in my opinion. Oh my God, it's kind of like a mood elevator. I'm spraying it, I'm only gonna spray it on this side because I need to save room for the others. But it's glorious. One of my most complimented scents is this and I get tons of compliments when I wear it in the summer. Up next, we have a very fascinating scent. It is from Hermetica and it is called Vertical Oud. This scent reminds me of raspberry pie with ice cream on like a leather plate. <laughs> Can you imagine a leather plate? This fragrance has gorgeous notes of raspberry oil, black pepper, rose oil, soft and powdery leather molecule notes. So there is a leather note in here. It also has like these created notes, which are vibrant amber molecule and oud accord. I recommend this fragrance for sexy time. Just saying out of the shower. I love it because it's not like any other perfume out there. It's like a moisturizing perfume. Glorious scent. If you want to smell like a raspberry pie and leather and ice cream, like butter pecan ice cream, this is the one you want. <laughs> Up next, we have Iris de Champ by 
who we gone? One of my favorite fragrances for summer is this magical scent. To me, it kind of reminds me of warm cotton. Not warm cotton the fragrance, but warm, actual warm cotton, like ironing some freshly laundered blouses and like feeling the heat and the projection of, you know, a clean shirt. That's what this smells like. Iris Dichon has beautiful notes of bergamot, lily of the valley, pink pepper, iris, which this is a very iris dominating fragrance. Rose, jasmine also has a beautiful ambery woody base, which, you know, for me, it's like, it's all about the dry down, right? You can tell the beauty of a perfume in the dry down. And this is certainly one of those beauties that you have to have in your collection, especially for the summer hot weather. Up next, we have Rose Lavande by Fragonard. So this fragrance will forever be like embedded in my heart and my brain I just love it so much I found it when I was traveling through Europe I was in the south of France in duty-free and I stumbled across the Fragonard store where they had tons of like fragrance soaps shower gels and i was like magnetically attracted to this fragrance like a moth to a damn flame this fragrance reminds me of rose and literally like lavender soap, like a bar of soap. This fragrance has beautiful notes of pear, peony, lavender, rose, tonka, and violet leaf. I would recommend wearing this for really hot days, like really hot days where you just wanna smell fresh, you don't wanna mess around. Right out of the shower type of scent, you could wear it pretty much anywhere. Up next is a fragrance, which I actually really love too. Everything that I'm mentioning here, I really, really love and I do wear every day this summer. Cassily by Parfum de Marly. So this fragrance reminds me of peach snaps and like those peach candies that you would eat as a kid that's like really bright orange on one side and yellow on the other. That's Cassily, just a way more sophisticated, elevated version of that. Cassily has gorgeous notes of red currant, Bulgarian rose, transparent white flowers, which I see that. This does smell like a beautiful, sort of floral bouquet. Plum Accord Mimosa also has sandalwood and tonka bean in the base. There isn't a note of peach in here or apricot, but it's very, to me, it's very reminiscent of those two notes. Please try it and let me know your thoughts on this one. I think it is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Fabulous scent that I would recommend for daytime. Wear it when you wanna hang out with your girls and be fabulous and be noticed for all the beauty that is you. I think it's incredible for the hot weather and I also know that this fragrance will take you beautifully into the fall. I'd wear this for both summer and fall. So up next we have the one, the only, Roja Elixir for women. How gorgeous is this fragrance? And Oh my God, how pretty is the bottle? If I had to describe this fragrance, I would say that it smells like rose water and violets. It's very light, it's very airy, it's fresh, but in a fresh floral sort of way. There's a ton of notes in this fragrance, but for me, what I mostly get is bergamot in the top notes, rose, of course, ylang ylang, raspberry, for sure. There is a slight fruitiness to this and musk in the base. It has sandalwood in here as well, but I don't get that on the skin. This scent is so pretty. I like to wear it mainly on days where I don't wanna wear too much fragrance. I also, just saying, sneak peek and stuff. So I also like to wear it with the hair oil, which I'm just gonna give it its own moment so you can see. This is what it looks like, the hair oil. I'm sorry, not hair oil, hair spray and Okay, okay, hair mist. You know, when you just wanna refresh and you want a little bit more, a little bit more fragrance, this is what I do. Like I just use hair mist and a little bit of fragrance. Good to go, cause sillage happens a lot in the hair. Just saying. Anyway, it's perfect for summer, daytime for summer for sure, out of the shower scent, where you just wanna smell very clean and fresh. Up next we have 
Edouard by Sisley. Oh my God, one of my favorites on this list. This is legit like a fragrance that is fit for a queen or a princess, which by the way, I heard that Princess Diana used to wear this fragrance. I'm not sure how true that is. Please let me know in the comments down below if you've ever heard that, or even if you've ever heard of Eau de Soie by Sisley. Love and adore. Notes of this fragrance are mandarin, syringa, and patchouli. Feel like somebody who is like generationally wealthy would wear something like this. It's just super complex, really sophisticated, just glorious, really, really gorgeous scent that I think might be a bit much for, you know, some palettes, but I love it. I've grown to love it. It was actually love at first sniff for me, especially with the beautiful sillage that I experienced after trying it and wearing it. So, so good, perfect for summer. It is a masterpiece. Up next, we have Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne. So this fragrance to me reminds me of biting into the richest, most juiciest mandarin you can find and then like sprinkling pepper over that mandarin and then taking another bite. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. Orange Sanguine has gorgeous notes of blood orange, mandarin, red mandarin from Italy, jasmine, geranium. Also there's sandalwood and cedarwood in the base. I really enjoy wearing this fragrance. I think it's super gorgeous. Quick story, last month I had the pleasure of hanging out with Sylvie, the co-founder of Atelier Cologne. We did some yoga, we practiced some yoga, we did some stretching, we relieved some stress. After the yoga class was finished, the instructor actually sprayed this around the room and kind of reset the space. And I thought that was a beautiful way to end our practice. It really did kind of soothe you and change the air around you. That's why I love fragrance. I mean, fragrance is a powerful thing and it, it really does have the power to change space and change your mood. How I like to wear this is just like casual days, casual days where I'm running around, where I'm needing a little bit of a citrus pick-me-up. This is a beautiful scent for that. And it is totally unisex. And last but certainly not least is Kirin's NYC Sunday Brunch. Now, I adore this scent. This scent makes me smile. Another big, bright citrus on this countdown. This fragrance smells like orange soda. Legit, an orange soda cocktail that you would have at Sunday brunch. Think club soda with actual oranges inside. Sunday brunch has notes of Italian bergamot, lemon, earl grey tea, and jasmine. So how would I wear Sunday brunch? How would I recommend you wear it? Hello, wear it to Sunday brunch. Do yourself a favor, give yourself some self-care Sunday loving. Go, spray this on. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I just love it. I love it. And that is why it's also the Fragrance Society Fragrance of the Month. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget the conversation continues over at the Fragrance Society where this month we will be giving away a full bottle of Kirin's NYC Sunday Brunch. We'll also be giving away five discovery kits, which means there are six chances to win if you are a part of our private community. The TFS newsletter is where I share all my exclusive content for fragrance lovers around the world. So check the link in the description if you'd like to sign up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if it's your first time here and don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you can be notified every time that your girl post a video here on YouTube. Love you forever. Watch what's up next and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.